Welcome back to our series of Chinese Horror Movies Explained, where we look at the most regulated, permitted film genre in China, and how the filmmakers attempt to get around restrictions to deliver a decent horror film. If you like this and are interested in seeing more, please remember to like and subscribe, and check out our other videos in the series by following the links at the end. Also an obvious warning, but this is pretty much a spoiler filled video. Watch at your own peril. In this episode, we'll look at the 2017 movie Haunted Graduation Photo and its sequel, also from the same year. Both movies are directed by Shi Yu Lu, who made an early career out of bad horror movies, and both movies have the exact same cast, including Yuan Chen, Li Er Lu, Wei Song, and Chen Li, who was in last episode's video Haunted Dormitory Marionette Teacher. Someone must have some dirty photos of her that force her to be in these movies. Just like our last video, this movie comes courtesy of the horror production sweatshop Film Moon. I don't know much about them, but they do not have a good back catalogue at all. And of course, it's set in a university. The haunted graduation photo starts off bad and just turns into an absolute dumpster fire by the end. A car accident that you just can't look away from. A group of friends on a hiking trip strike tragedy when Piao Piao, the girlfriend of Su Liang, slips and comically falls off a cliff to her death. <coughs> Forward a year, and the group is ready to graduate. But strange incidents start occurring, culminating in the appearance of a ghost in the graduation photo, hence the title of the movie. The group decide that to honour the memory of their friend Piao Piao, they will return to the site of her death to perform a ritual involving a ceramic plate and the Chinese version of an Ouija board. But Piao Piao wants her revenge, because she knows there are two girls in the group who are desperate for the attention of her now ex-boyfriend Su Liang. This movie lays on the jump scares thick and fast really quick at the start, lots of green light ghost faces. Seriously, check it out, it's obviously a thing in Chinese filmmaking to skirt around some kind of censorship. There's lots of demented dolls and paper wards flying around too. A big shout out needs to go to the introduction, with two badly acted and badly lip synced white characters getting confusingly murdered by a chainsaw wielding maniac by the name of their dead friend Jerry. Jerry then makes an appearance again at the end of the movie, for a particular reason, but it just doesn't make sense. Man, please stop. We're friends. We're good friends. Please. Am I your friend? Yes, yes, we're friends. But why did you steal my girl? Speaking of bad lip syncing, the movie's audio track is very annoying. There is very little, if no, ambient audio. It's just music. The occasional sound effect and the over loud voice dubbing. The filmmakers either couldn't record audio live while filming well, the audio was so poor they needed to do ADR in post-production, and it's a really horrible experience for the ears. Initially, I thought this movie had the same cast as the previous movie we looked at, Marionette Teacher, but I was wrong. Only one actress, Chen Li, appears in both films, but it does have the same sound effects, music, annoying ADR, and payoff. So we've got a ghost and some spooky visual imagery, how is this one explained? Well, the good old fashioned face swap. The Piao Piao ghost is actually a character called Xiaomi, no, not the foam brand, who teams up with Su Liang's friend Wu Feng to scare their other friend Xiao Ying out of falling in love with Su Liang. I hope that made sense. What's in it for Wu Feng? Well, he is in love with another one of the girls, Ai Mei and is hoping to get down with her sometime during the film. But poor guy, it never happens. It's all revealed when Su Liang comes to the rescue of Xiao Ying from the ghost of Piao Piao. It's at this time Xiaomi can't hide it any longer. 
Now you'd think everyone would be upset because she pretended to be the ghost of their dead friend. Here they are, for about 20 seconds. It gets better and more confusing. Su Liang then pretends to be the Jerry Chainsaw Maniac from the intro to scare Xiaomi to get back at her because they all think that's what she would want so she wouldn't feel guilty. You really can't make this writing up. It's gold. Well, if you thought it couldn't get any f hey! worse, they made a sequel. Yes, the green-faced ghost of Piao Piao is back, but we know she isn't because ghosts don't exist in this world, and we already know that it was Xiaomi who did the face swap. But this seems real. Since everyone knew it was a face swap, and everyone knows that no one would try the same stupid trick twice, then this must be a real ghost, right? Set one month after the events of the first film, the whole cast and all the sets are reunited for this sequel, as well as about 40 minutes of recycled footage from the first film. Yes, would you believe an almost incredible 40 minutes of footage is reused from the first film, including classic scenes like the photograph being taken, the original plate ghost ceremony, all the dormitory scares, and even the footage of them driving to the campgrounds. They reused the same shot. If anything, the previous movie now doesn't need to exist because this one essentially covers most of what happened in the first and adds a few more scenarios. We start off again with Xiao Ying, all alone in a massive house that surely can't exist anywhere in China. Certainly not the parts of China that I've been to. She gets a late night booty call from her friend Ai Mei. Well, actually, Ai Mei is going to use her house for a late night booty call with second generation rich man. And yes, he was in the first film. Anyway, then the whole crew from the first movie arrives. Weird ghost stuff keeps happening and they realize that the plate ceremony from the first movie probably didn't work and they need to go back to the camping grounds to finally put to rest the spirit of Piao Piao, the green faced ghost. Like I mentioned, they reused some footage, but they filmed a few more new scenes. There's a new plate ceremony where everyone is wearing different clothes, but the establishing shot, which was reused from the first film, shows something different. And guess what? The ghost of Piao Piao is back. This time, the movie turns all slasher-like as the ghost goes around killing everyone until Xiao Ying and Ai Mei are the only ones left. So, what's going on in this movie? Well, if you guessed, it's probably the face swapping trick again, Dan. You'd be 100% right. They reused the same technique for this movie. Wu Feng, angry that Ai Mei will never fall in love with him, plans the whole thing as a way to... Well, I don't really know what his motive was. It makes no sense. How would killing her friends make her fall in love with him? Anyway, to complicate things, Wu Feng has hired an actress who also helped him out in the first film to act as a second Piao Piao to scare Ai Mei and Xiao Ying even more. But then she gets tired of the whole charade, takes her face off. I'd like to take his, his face off. And rats out Wu Feng as a complete and utter vile bastard. There's also something about a drug that he gives everyone to make them bleed from the nose and lose consciousness. The best part of this movie, and indeed the series, is how he gets punished. He tells Su Liang to take him to the police station, but instead, Su Liang drives him to a laboratory. In one of those things that can only happen in movies type scenarios, Su Liang advises Wu Feng that he and Xiaomi have used their parents' vast fortune to build him a state-of-the-art super laboratory where he will spend the rest of his days, and considering his age, that would be a good 70 years, developing medication to help humankind. What in the actual f Hey! Thank you for watching this video. I hope I am slowly turning you into a fan of really bad Chinese horror movies. They really don't get enough attention, 
although they probably don't deserve it anyway. Watch out for our next Chinese Horror Movie Explained, where we will take a look at Love Motel, another horror thriller that's actually pretty decent. Subscribe to ensure you get an alert when it comes out. Thanks for watching.